Greetings and salutations. How's everybody doing? This is Hong Wong from Hong Wong Wuxia, and we are getting ready to do the time tutorial for Space Engine. Yeah, I have to type things in because my automatic thing doesn't work. <laughs> All right, let's get to it, shall we? Dun, 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 dun. I'm uh, going to be house sitting after this, so I wanted to get one more stream in before I get that done. Because I don't know if I'm going to be able to do that with uh, when I go, because as I've said, the DSL. <laughs> anyway, let us move along. This tutorial will teach you the time controls in Space Engine. The navigation toolbar has all the options for time controls, some of which have their own hotkeys. The blinking element is the date bar. It is displayed. It displays the current simulation date and time. It may differ from the real date because in Space Engine, you are free in space and time. The button below the date bar controls the time flow. Button below the date bar controls the time flow. You can speed up and slow down the time, reverse it, and reset it to the current date based on the system clock. Okay, so this is to fast forward in time. Now that looks pretty close to the one picture that I should. I, I uh, snapped, uh, I have a screenshot of, but it isn't, it's very close. <laughs> you can speed up the time to see space bodies in movement. Press the L key or this button twice to speed up the time flow to 10 times. Okay, fast forward or L. It was even more, huh? That. Yeah. Perfect. Press the zero key or icon on the filters to walk to display orbital paths of planets and moons. Am I going even faster? Look at that. We'll go to the end of time. All right. Orbital time gives a great feeling about how the universe works. Now press the what button? No, I didn't finish reading. <laughs> uh, now you can observe the orbital motion of the Galilean moons. Io, Europa, Ganymede, and Callisto. To make it more convenient, zoom out from Jupiter to 5 million kilometers. Oh, yeah. yeah, that's what I'm doing, and it's going down, and it's going up. Uh, whatever I didn't do it <laughs> yeah I went to uh, I went somewhere else so let's zip through that again yes 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 okay you can speed up the time L key bomb bomb
Cool. What are these? I pressed the wrong key. <laughs> what did I press? I pressed zero, not O. Oh, you're slick. What are these satellites that are going around? Oh, okay, that's the label button. Now you can observe the orbital motion. <clears throat> now you can observe the orbital motion of the Galilean moons. Uh, da -da -da, to make it more convenient, zoom out from Jupiter to five million kilometers. Okay, see now it's working. It wasn't. Oh, what the hell happened before? All right, to five million kilometers and. And orbit to its northern pole. So the movements. Oh, okay, so how far am I out? Alright, there's five million and Well, they're not going to disappear behind here because I went to the top. <laughs> but we can still... Uh... Now we will learn all the buttons which controls the speed of time. Press the space bar to pause the simulation. Press the space bar or the same button on the navigation toolbar again to resume the time. <clears throat> the J key or this icon Reverses the time flow. Press it and you'll see how many how moons start moving back. Note that the simulation date and time displayed in the date bar are counting backwards. Press the J key again to restore the normal direction of the time flow. Decelerate time by pressing the K key. Uh, what do they want me to decelerate? And the last button sets the time speed to one. That would be the backslash or the check mark. No, I didn't hit backslash. What did I hit? No, I did hit the backslash. But it's not that, so... No, it's this one. Also, pressing the control... Sets the simulation time to the current system time. So control backslash or this icon sets the simulation time to the current system time. Try this now. Of 
great. We now have learned the time speed control keys. Remember them. Reverse. Decelerate. Accelerate. Set normal. Set normal. And set current. And pause. All right. You can easily change the simulation date time by clicking the date bar and typing the desired date there. Set, for example, uh, 21 or 9 o'clock of November, 2100 hours, November 15, 2016. Type it as follows. Month, day, time. Okay. Well, one six dot one one dot one five dot twenty one colon zero zero. It's going to raise backwards in time to that. You can easily change the simulation by clicking the date bar and typing the desired date there. Set, for example, 2100. All right, set, for example, 2100 of November. Uh, type it as well. I just did that. Or is that, is that all that, uh... Well, let's do it one more time just to make sure. Okay, I guess that's all there is for that tutorial, huh? Let's, uh, this time, that was about 15 minutes, so, uh, this time let's try to, uh, uh, what was I going to do? Let's try one of the, uh, got one of the set, set things they have here to look at. So, let's try... Something that's right in the peanuts. I thought I saw something in one of these. Eagle has landed, the rubber ducky, blah blah blah. Let's go check it out. Oh, here. Boom. <laughs> oh. Nobody wants to see a big old... Uh... Got to move this down, huh?
Hey. Oh, this stupid thing closed out. Or crashed on me. It's the first time it's done that. Yeah, there's not really any progress in this game. <laughs> Actually, let's go to Planetarium. We want to load. We're we going to load the. Pillars of Creation. Load. Maybe better too bright in my room, but that's. <laughs> well, that wasn't what I wanted to do. Head Nebula. Let's check that out. What's this one? Flame Nebula. So what would it be? Got any no planets here, huh? What was that button? Let's try a different star. Nothing there. What's this dude? It's 
find something with rings. Let's get a little closer to. Frigid Aquarium and a Frigid Mini Jupiter with rings. All right, let's go there. Let's try this time thing here. Yeah. They can't have names. weird stuck that at the beginning of my uh, things anyway what us mm -hmm. let's go check out this nebula here
Might be two. It's too dark. Running Man Nebula. Why does it keep doing that? I, after I take the screenshot, it should not. It, it just keeps it, it keeps taking screenshots here. <laughs> I shouldn't have to go out and then come back in every time. Wow, that looks even better. My lord. I guess I'm going to have to go out and then come back in every single time I take a screenshot. So <laughs> that'll cut down on the screenshots. So what is this over here? Flame Nebula. So what if we were to go back up? It's back out too much. I'm not really seeing anything. Alrighty then, let's see. What else shall we try? There's some star in there that we can get to. Well, that's on the outside. That looks to be the closest star right there. Is there planets? There are planets, so.
Oh, I lost my cursor again. Hey. Any suggestions on what you want to see? Let's come back out. Let's see. Let's try this one out. Hourglass. Ooh. That looks cool. What's that one? too much. Yeah, so I keep getting these uh, notifications that uh, the music on here violates or, or is a copyrighted, but it also says that they, they, they allow them to play the music on YouTube, so I don't know why they're notifying me. I mean, all the music that I play is copyrighted by someone. Unless it's, I mean, there, I'm, there, there's some of it that's in the public domain because it's that old, but anything that's done in the last, that was made in the last 25 years has got some sort of a copyright protection on it. <laughs> but they don't announce, uh, they don't announce, uh, well, they allow it to be used on YouTube for all of them. So it makes me wonder, it's like, well, what are they trying to say that, well, well, in the future, these guys might try and uh, withdraw it, and then I have to take, this, take the music out. Large Magellan Magellanic Cloud. Wow, that looks cool. Oh, that looks really cool. Let's, uh, let's get out a little bit. Hmm. 
Well, we're out here in the galaxy, huh? There's another one. So, I haven't looked up the, the second parts of these names, but I was correct in my uh, thing that the, the S is a spiral, the E is a elliptical, and the... Uh, And I guess uh, the closer it is to zero, the uh, more, or the zero is being the higher number, the, uh, the more spherical it is. Whereas the lower the number, like an, a one, well, somewhere around here we'll find one, huh? Okay, now I don't like that music track at all. I really don't like that track at all. <laughs> oh yeah, I'm, I'm turning it off for the stream, but I'm not turning it off for me. <laughs> okay, so here we go, E1. Okay, so zero, one, zero being the more, more so the higher the number, the more, uh, the more cigar shaped it's gonna be. So let's see if that's correct. It's E7. Yeah, so the E9 should be even flatter and longer. And then we still haven't seen the uh, peculiar type. Okay, the IRR is regular. And what did it say? It's uh, definitely the result of two galaxies colliding together, I believe. That's ah, just gorgeous. Look at that. I want to find one of these uh, either an irregular one with uh, a strange color or a uh, any any one of the peculiar ones because we haven't seen any of those yet I guess there's probably a feature where I could uh, <clears throat> look it up well that one looks really bad All right, well, we're gonna have to go inside this one here. Let us see. closer find a different star. <laughs> e 
He found my mouse. Trying to find one with a planet. Trying to find my mouse right now. <laughs> it's too bright. There we go. Frigid Mega Neptune with rings. In a very, very, very bright galaxy. That's with no, that's like normal exposure. Oh no, it wasn't. <laughs> it still looks pretty cool. Lost my mouse again. It sucks getting old and blind. sequence and an orange giant a cool super Jupiter with rings oh that's the uh... let's go back to uh... there we go Where's that small one at? I don't see the small one in it. There's the super small one. There he is. Okay. It's like an asteroid. Where's my, uh, Where's the, uh, See the uh, super Jupiter with the rings. Nah, that's just like. There we go. There we go.
All right, let's get out of this galaxy. I don't know what the second letter of the, the spiral means. So SA versus SB, I'll have to look that up. Versus the S zero. Doesn't seem to have many as many. The S zero doesn't seem to have the uh, the wheels on it. Greetings. How goes things? That one looks pretty neat, too. <clears throat> I'm gonna find one of the more, uh, the... different colored ones, especially the red ones. This is Hong Long, after all. from the heck is There. Where's the other one at? Seem like I went that far away. Let's go here. Temperate super oceanic aquaria with blue rings.
Oh, I think the... Let's find one. I still want to find one of these peculiar places, huh? Another irregular. Well, this was more of a red one. Well, this is like a mixture of red and uh, the white stuff. So let's go. Uh, A temperate sub Jupiter inside this reddish white galaxy. What if we get rid of that? really cool. Side, huh? Back off. Back away. Back away. There we go. If I can, uh, can I just pop it into the message? Yeah, no, let's get out of that. PC. See maybe. Regular one. Ooh, that is really irregular, huh? Look at that. From one perspective, it could be the golf club galaxy. <laughs> well, 
looks pretty weird. So this is probably the result of a spiral galaxy collapsing, colla collapsing, colliding with an elliptical galaxy. Actually, it looks like it's probably the result of more than just one galaxy colliding. The, the color is more of like a yellowish color. When we get there, it's got nothing of it. found one of the peculiar galaxies yet. Well, I'm going to have to call it quits here shortly because I have to start. Oh, look at this one. This one looks really weird. Not let me get any stars in there, huh? It's just like really dense, huh? Was the C? See, I have to look up the C too. I'm guessing it has to do with how tight the uh, these wheels are. I haven't seen anything with a. These peculiars are very peculiar. Wow, that looks pretty excellent. Looks pretty wicked. A 
Okay, no, I'm here. I want to... There we go. I want to go to its moons. On that note, I think I am going to be done. Unless you got a suggestion for something else you want to see real quick before I get done. Because i got to start packing up my stuff. Oh my lord, why does it keep doing that? There we go. I think one thing I'm gonna try to do. Not where I wanted to land. I want to. What was the speed button? There's no more rocks and stuff. It's all, it's all flat. There we go.
All right, ladies and gentlemen, that's going to be it for tonight. I have got a lot of things I have to get done today and tomorrow. Uh, I probably will not be streaming anything again until f at least Friday night. Although, maybe, maybe tomorrow night, but I doubt it. Anyway, I will see y'all later. Um, I don't know if I can get my... Uh, <laughs> My thing to work. Anyway, till next time. Ciao, everybody.